big or go home cosplay. And today I'm here with plaid cosplay, making this very elegant and pretty Valkyrie helm. I love it because it has a brilliant gold and an ombre effect on the feathers. It really makes me feel pretty. Be sure to check out the description below for all the products used and let's get started. We're going to start out by using a free downloadable pattern. This has full instructions about how you can make your own Valkyrie helm. This tutorial is going to go over primarily all of the techniques that were used to paint this. We're going to be using this wood burning set, our foam feather, and very importantly, a respirator. Don't forget this. First off, we're going to be adding the center detail. I have a sample piece of foam right here to make sure that the temperature is correct on the wood burner. We'll be using the medium heat setting for this step. I find that it's easier because the temperature is not as hot and I have better control. Make sure to take your time and go as slow as you need to. It's always good to practice on another piece of foam first. Thankfully, these aren't using a lot of material, so if you mess up, you can always make another feather. Now I'm going to go in and add all of the barbs. Be sure to go from one direction to the next and kind of be sporadic. This is what it looks like. Now we just repeat that on the other side. Here's what it looks like finished. To prime our piece, we're going to be using Mod Podge Matte. It's pretty simple. You just use a flat brush and apply it onto your feather. It's important to go in one direction because we don't want the Mod Podge to cake up into all of the recesses that we made using the wood burner. Then we're just gonna repeat it onto the other side. You can't really tell in this step but if you're using a light colored foam, it's really important for you to base coat your feather black. We're using Folk Art Pure Black for this step. Alrighty, so once your base is finished drying, we're going to add a Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash to the bottom of the feather. This is really cool because it's a dynamic metallic paint with an iridescent finish. For the middle section of the feather, we're going to be adding Color Shift Black Flash. And finally, for the tip of our feathers, we're going to be adding Treasure Gold. It's a water-based, non-toxic paint with brilliant metallic luster. For the next step, we're going to be creating an ombre effect. First, we're going to start at the tip and blend it into the middle and go all the way down into the bottom. Apply a little bit of Treasure Gold onto your flat brush and blend it down into the black flash. You're going to do this exact same thing with the black flash and blend it back up into the treasure gold. With a clean brush, we're going to dip your flat brush into aqua flash and blend it up into the black flash. Dip your brush into the black flash and blend it down to the bottom of the feather into your aqua flash. This technique shows off a seamless transition from the aqua to the black and finally to the gold. Now we're going to use a detailed brush and Folk Art Pure Black to paint our center line of the feather. What you want to do here is be as clean as possible. Work your way slowly down to the bottom. And finally, we're going to protect our feather using Mod Podge Ultra in gloss. Firmly shake it, press off to the side on the first spray, and then apply generously over your project. Ta-da! For this step, refer back to the PDF instructions on how to assemble this piece. Now let's start adding texture with the wood burner. To apply the feather texture onto thermoplastic, we're gonna be using the highest setting on the wood burner. Start off by going in the center and working your way all the way to the top. We're also going to be applying the texture like we did on the larger feathers for the barbs.
you do this all the way through for each feather. It's time to prime our piece using Mod Podge Matte. Go ahead and dip your flat brush straight into the jar and start applying. The key here is to not let it pull in any of those details that we just created with the wood burner. Here you go. Now we're going to be applying the base coat. For this, we're using Folk Art Pure Black. It really makes a big difference now when you're painting on a white surface. Now we're going to paint over the entire thing with Treasure Gold. It really gives it a rich finish. To apply a wash, we're going to be using a one-to-one -one ratio with Water and Folk Art Pure Black. Go ahead and get your brush pretty saturated and then apply in small sections onto the piece. Once you have it on there, go ahead and use your paper towel and wipe off any of the excess paint. We're going to repeat the same process over the entire piece. Finally, we're going to finish our piece with Mod Podge Ultra and Gloss. Shake the can vigorously, spray off to the side first, and then apply generously. This is what both of our final pieces look like. You just have to replicate this process to create the entire build. This is what it looks like. How cool. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope that you enjoyed learning about all the techniques to make this Valkyrie helm. Be sure to like, follow, and share. And if you make this, hashtag plaid crafts and plaid cosplay because we'd love to see your work. Alrighty guys, happy crafting.